Hello everyone, this is Grannis here with our weekend demo impressions installation. And today we're looking at a new demo on Steam, came out a few days ago, uh, called Read Only Memories, a new cyberpunk adventure, which is an adventure game by Midboss LLC. Um, obviously if you're a computer buff, or even slightly computer buff, ROM stands for Read Only Memory in computing, it's, it's what disks tend to be. So, let's find out what this game is like. Interesting retro inspiration, I'd say. So, what have we got for options? So, we're going to turn the music down straight away. It's cool music, but we want to be able... Oh, you can control the text bit, that's quite nice. And... Interesting. Cool. So it's, it's cool that you've got some of those controls. It's nice to control the text speed. We'll see how the preset text speed goes. Okie dokie. So yeah, it's a very retro looking game, music wise, graphics wise. Let's see if they pull it off. Pixel Art. Rio, right? San Francisco, 2064 AD. Huh. The world is on the cusp of not one, but three technological singularities. Cybernetic augmentation and genetic modification allow the repair and enhancement of almost any part of a human body. Nice. Millions of people jack into virtual worlds every day to work, play, and connect with one another with advanced brain-to-machine technology. Interesting. Easier access to genetic modification leaves hybrids walking the streets, looking less human every day. Huh. Relationship organizational managers, or ROMs for short, are the commonplace companion and tool of any modern person. However, they are still machines at their core. The logic they are built on impedes their ability to think for themselves and determine their own behavior. Right. You see, this is at the heart of why we took on this merger with Parallax. We wanted to take artificial intelligence to the next level. And now, well, we have devices that can truly adapt. Very sort of old anime feel, actually. Like yeah. the human revolution, seek to slow the relentless pace of progress, fearing that unchecked technology will make us lose the very things that make us human. High above the rising tension below, a parallax engineer buries himself in schematics and equations, trying to bring a new kind of life into the world. And with this, humanity's destiny will be altered forever. Cool. Certainly a very interesting introduction. I like it. I really do like it. Catches your attention straight off the bat with a very interesting art style, interesting music, some good voiceover work, and a good premise. Okay, let me click on. Sort of highlight things I can click on. Okay. Slow pairing place. <laughs> okay. Goals is basically a point and click adventure by the looks of it. Oh, I've got one of those. I've got several of those in my room actually. Was the most tangible method. Cone dish would be a good goal. <laughs> you just talk to people. Yeah. Beautiful 24 7 view. Should be a fan of half post masonry. Keep the window open. Better that grosser than nowhere. Sweet. 
Take a sip of the old stale coffee. Letters F and K seem clear as day. It's also really gross. Some decent writing for this, definitely. You can get onto the computer, which is cool. Okay, let me here. Story about the human revolution. So the fruity effect of JGS, for example. Oh, okay. This is actually quite cool. I mean, there's lots and lots. There's been a lot of writing what looks put into this. And, um, yeah. It's not a bad art style. Um, perhaps it emphasizes the pixelation too much. I mean, I know it's cyberpunk, but one would assume that if you're producing AIs and advanced robotics and things like that, you could probably have a better resolution than this. Um, I mean, I know it's all in the style of sort of classic cyberpunk, but uh, logic compose. <laughs> Apparently, they've uh, seen my inbox. Spam to Bill. Rent mail. Invitation to come and see the ceremony. Oh, what's... oh we've got to find headphones apparently. So we'll do that. There they are. Growing ooze. Oh, I'll better grab those headphones. Okay. That's pretty cool. It's a cool idea. <laughs> um, can I use them with my coffee? That's really interesting, I have to say. It's a very interesting concept. Um, the headphones are sort of... Any more heads on that? <laughs> okay, maybe we can do something now with them. Which would be very cool. Um, it's, it's a really good idea, actually. Okay, you work 
out of the way. Da, 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 da. Surely. I've been telling myself that for years, guys. Don't know how true it is, though. Gonna go to bed so we can progress things a little bit. Should be good. Uh oh. There's a robot in my room. That's very creepy. What the? Let's get to my pal, bro. Very interesting character design. Um, I like it. I really like it. Sixteen working days. You know my dog's birthday. Gee, Congo, that couldn't be, you know, comparison to Amazon, could it? Mm. Yes, you did, didn't you? A snack? You broke my motherboard. He's nervous, okay. You know how you well? Okay. It's most distinctly for the support. So down. Uh, let's start from the beginning. Turing. I'm assuming that's inspired by the guy behind the Enigma machine. Artificial sapiens. Cool. So you're different from any other room? Virtual intelligence. Yeah. 
Oh, that's cool. That's very cool. Right. A little bit too philosophical, yeah, just a bit. Why come to me? Okay, yep. I think I know what you mean, yeah. I'll pull up in Seems really cool. Close this door already. And the robot. Okay, so I'm actually going to leave it here, I think, guys, because there's a lot of plot, and you'll probably want to experience for yourself playing. Um, Gameplay-wise, this is sort of a very difficult demo to really say much about, because it is just a point and click game, just a point and click adventure, same at the run of the mill, seems to work fairly well, I have a few issues, it doesn't seem to always be the most responsive with clicks, but, you know, it is a point and click adventure essentially. What's going to make or break this game for you is the setting, the aesthetic, which I happen to really like, I think it's great, it's very charming, um, it's been very carefully done, so it's actually quite enigmatic, the music is really good, it really fits, fits the setting and the work they've done with the appearance. And the story, I think, is, is at least from what we've seen so far, is really great. Um, Turing is very characterful. Even your own, you know, the narrator, your own character is quite quite a character. Um, and, and, you know, the world, it's, it's, there's lots of writing. It's all really well written. I haven't picked up any mistakes, any sort of failures to suspend belief. It's really well written, it seems, from this much of the demo. Um, You could go a bit meta and question some things, but I think the story is well enough written that it really pulls you along with it, um, which is really what you're probably going to be looking for in this sort of game. Um, so far there were no sort of puzzles in the adventure thing, there might be later on, um, though in many ways it seems almost a primarily story-driven adventure. So yeah, this is available on Steam now, if you want to get it, I'll put a link below. Um, I've been scratched. This has been our demo impressions of the weekend, um, and I am impressed. My, I was impressed by the impression of read-only memories. Wrong. I've been Zagranis. I'll see you next time, guys. Thanks.